They say there's a song about a feller around home used to be a teller of tall tales. And he used to tell him tall tales and lie as much and everybody got to talking about it. Well, we thought if we could teach him how bad it sounded that maybe he'd quit all that lying. So we said, we'll tell him a lie so big, can't nobody believe it, and he'll see how bad it sounds. He won't lie no more. So we cornered him one day, and we said, look, hoss, you ain't never going to guess what happened to us in church Sunday. So we were sitting there in church, and the door busted open, and a great big grizzly bear come running into the church. And we looked, and there was a little bitty chihuahua dog chasing him. And that dog chased that bear up front, and would you believe he whipped that bear, killed that bear, and ate that great big gritty bear right there in front of us. He said, now, could you believe something like that? And he said, Lord, I reckon that's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, Hoss Walker. In our county, there is a feller, Hoss Walker is his name. Ten lies, his trademark, and his broad and world acclaim. He climbed a tree to tell a lie when the truth he could tell on the ground. Some folks say the truth ain't in him, he's known for miles around. Well, I remember one day we were sitting on the porch and Hoss came riding by. Paul said, Hoss, come up and set a spell and tell us one of them big old lies. He said, folks, I really wish I could, but I got to be heading on. Paul passed away this afternoon, and I've got to get back home. When it came, it's quite a shock to us, because Paul was our good friend. We started telling all neighbors, notifying next to kin. We gathered up some cakes and pies and headed over to their place. We all met there on their front porch, tears running down their face. Well, we knocked on the door and walked on in, much to our surprise. There sat his paw in his rocking chair right there before our eyes. Well, it gave us an airy feeling, made the hair stand on my head. One woman even dropped her cake, said, good Lord, he come back from the dead. Well, we told his paw while we was there the things that Hoss had said. He said, boy, what in the world made you tell these good folks I'm dead? Said Paul, they want me to stop a while and tell them a big old lie. But I was in a hurry, so I told them he's dead, and I just rode on by. He said, folks, I'm sorry for the lie I told, because he's some of our best friends. If you can find it in your heart, forgive me. I swear I'll never lie again. Well, he stood there looking so sincere, big tears in his eyes. He said, I ain't eating three or four weeks. How about a piece of pie? I remember one cold winter morning, we was all sitting around the store, talking about the depression, things that happened during the war. Hoss walked in with his shotgun, we grinning from ear to ear. We all started making jokes about the lie we fixed to hear. He said, boys, I've been a hunting. Y'all don't believe it or not. I just killed 99 blackbirds and only fired one shot. We all got to laughing. And I think it was old man Steve. He said, Hoss, why don't you just sit with a hunter? It wouldn't be no harder to believe. He said, no, it was only 99. On that, I'll give my word. Ain't no need to sit with a hunter lying over one blackbird. He said, the other day, I was down on the river with my rifle I was hunting. Looked over yonder on the other side, and hummingbirds were humming. So I took aim and I fired that thing, and the hummingbird fell dead. With a 22 rifle, I killed enough hummingbirds to make them all feather beds. Now another tale he told one time, how Cody got in his house, froze the flame on a coal on lantern, and he couldn't even blow it out. So he broke it off, threw it in the yard, and right there's where it laid. But the chickens ate it, and springtime come, they all started laying fried eggs. But another tale he told about some watermelons he grow. Seeds of big silver dollars in the ground he sowed. Watermelon four foot long, some of them three foot around. But the growth too fast, one of the watermelons out just dragging them across the ground. When he started getting on up in age, he started growing old. 
He said, I'm tired of his reputation and all these lies I've told. I think I'll go somewhere far away where nobody knows my name. Packed his bag, named the man, he boarded a big old plane. He got off that plane in England, said, I'll start my life anew. I'll never tell another lie, and I only talk but the truth. Two little boys were fighting there, and they was calling each other names. One said, you better learn Hoss Walker, and he got back on the plane. Now I guess there's lots of other tales old Hoss might leave behind. Tales that'll live forever, he was a legend in his time. As long as people tell these tales, that legend never die. And the name Hoss Walker will live forever, and brother, that ain't no lie.